good morning, good morning, and good morning, people of grace. Beloved daughters and sons of the Most High, you are welcome. You are welcome. Our God is still sitting on his throne, waiting for us to ask whatever we ask in his name while we follow his laws so that he can answer us at his own time. Father God, answer us at his own time. When we pray, we say to next week, we want to be waking. We are telling you, Father God, because you are our Papa. He laughs at us because he knows that he cannot give you a job next week, knowing that in that job you will not be happy, knowing that something will happen after you have just joined the job that will hurt you badly. Father God wants the best for us. So he must take time to create where he will place his children in order for us to be happy, not to be tormented by Satan and his agents. You are welcome and you are still loved by Mama Ruth. Pardon my sign and my voice that is having sinuses since I use Doom unexpectedly without putting a mask the doom has an effect and started to have i started to have itchy nose and then blocked nose so pardon mama ruti but god knows so we are here again good morning and keep on winning let's close our eyes and welcome holy spirit Holy Spirit, Spirit of my Father. Move, Holy Spirit, where they are sitting. Move. Holy Spirit, perfect where we are. The Lord, God, our Lord, the Lord of the Lord, Trinity of heaven. You are welcome. Come and take control in our lives. And the Holy Ghost, the fire, to move down. To touch us, to perfect where there are pains. On the hip, the waist, from the head. To the soul of the feet inside in the heart, the arteries, the valves of the heart, the veins, the blood, fluid, and system. Holy Ghost, we feel it. Holy Ghost, we take control. Holy Ghost, we perfect. We love you, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. As we start this meeting, we need you to lead us. We need you to put shame to darkness. We need you to expose the work of darkness. We need you, Lord, to direct us. We need you, Lord, to not, Father, let us go astray. Not to do, not to do what you said we must do. That is to live according to the laws of Moses. Remind us, Lord, when we go astray, when something is wrong with our behavior. Remind us, Lord, through speaking with us in our hearts. Then we will learn to descend. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost, fill and the fire where your children are in the light of God from heaven. Perfect the places, the rooms, wherever they are listening. In Jesus' mighty name, as we read the word, thank you for the wisdom Thank you, Jesus, for the wisdom. Thank you, Father, I possess more wisdom. Father, wisdom that I'll be giving to your children. They must know what to pray against. They must know where to hit when they pray. Oh, Father, thank you for wisdom. Thank you for speaking with me and direct me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Father, I adore you. We love you. We love you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen and amen. You are welcome. Today I wanted to just preach and do the same, but I said no. Daddy, my God, our Father, let me go deeper again because yesterday I did only touch ups. 
And when we pray for familiar spirit, the one that we are having all the prayers here, I don't tell them into deeper. I'll tell them that they're using a household animals. I don't go deeper on it. So we have to, to go deeper and ask uh, so that you can gain knowledge and wisdom. What is familiar spirit? Who are these spirits? How they operate? These ones are the type of monitoring spirits, people of God. Monitoring, let me start like this. The name familiar. Familiar is when you know something deep. You are familiar with it. Familiar with the face. Familiar where she's working. Familiar, familiar, familiar. That is why household, uh, familiar spirit, they call them household servants. Household servants. <clears throat> they are intended to express the idea that sorceries uh, uh, had spirit as their servants. Uh, ready to obey their commands. Hmm? So these spirits, they are very stubborn and dangerous. That's why I said it. Most of our problems carry it. This family, sorry, most of our problems emanate from them. Most of the problem of the body of Christ emanate from familiar spirits. Ancestral spirit, witchcraft spirit, demons, and Satan. So, these spirits, they just express the idea of sorceries and the spirits of uh, 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 those spirits as their servants, and they must be uh, obeying the commands. These commands and all these things. When the, where there's a, a familiar spirit, there's a monitoring spirit. That monitoring spirit must obey the command. Then familiar spirit, I want to concentrate on familiar and leave the monitoring for now. Who are they? Let me put like, like that. They, 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 the familiar spirit before we read more, we, we speak more. I want you people, okay, let me just add, add describe before we read. Are the type of monitoring spirits neither they uh, carry out the attack of destruction. They deal on destruction. In everything, progress, marriage, health, growing, post, big position, bigness, businesses, finances, once you speak about destruction, one of the spirits that is Satan, as an enemy that Satan, sorry, that is Satanic spirit that is caring to kill, to steal, and to distract. So Satan got those branches where he got all his agents. You agent, you'll work with destruction. Agent, you'll work with stealing. They will steal everything in your life. They will distract. Today we are dealing with distraction. Distraction are the spirit of family. That is why when you remember yesterday I said, you, we, will, we must stop to post. And we are excited. We want people to be excited with us, to, uh, to be happy with us, to say, look, come and see what the Lord has done. My daughter, my son has made it at school. She or he look at the result. And then you said, come, we are doing it with the heart of God. But we forgot that there's that enemy there that hate us passionately without doing anything. And remember always, people of grace, remember, take note about this. Every child of God that is having a calling, me and you, listen carefully. A lot of people will hate you without a cause. 
it's because of what is inside of you. Why don't you ask yourself that you are content when you sit in the house, then you alone, then you are content to read the word or to do the prayers. You are content to have the edge to follow a lot of prophets, to be known, to know what is your calling from your Father God. What is your calling? You just check your characters. Once you follow a lot of prophets, you have the edge to, you don't even, whether they prophesy or not, you don't care. You just want to follow them. And you want to follow all the apostles, these people, and hear and listen. It's all about your calling. It's not your, you doing it. It's heaven doing that. Because you are calling, you are, it's either you are apostle, or you are evangelist, or you are prophet. Or what. It is the calling that is waking through you inside. You are so content that you don't want friends. You become so calm and content when you pray and you tell your father and you have a problem that if it can pass a day without praying, you feel that eh, eh, you owe God something. You have the edge because of you are calling. And don't be surprised that by then, God start to remove people in your life. That's why I wanted to tell you that is so important. All of a sudden, people started to accuse you. People want to be far from you. It's not them. It's not you. God is busy. Do you are in the pro process of isolation where God is changing your lives and your level. He first remove those people he remove that don't have a problem. A person can be removed from your life. Not even by making noise to the person or whatever, but she decided, oh, he decided that I'm no longer speaking with this person. It's not she. So continue to pray, to pray for that person. God has removed all those he doesn't want you to have them because he wants you to concentrate on what he wants you to teach. He's, you are in the isolation. So don't be cross and ask yourself and cry, why people hate me? Why they don't hate you? That's how your father operates. If you see a lot of prophets, they can do whatever. They will never speak any word without saying, hey, God knows. Oh, I'm so blessed. Hey, God. They, <laughs> they are life. God has turned their heart and believe in everything and make it, they depend in God like nobody's business. <laughs> like when I put it, it's the, it's the English that we broke in South Africa. He wants you to believe in him like, like as if your life is ending. So that's how uh, when uh, I, I sorry for diverting, I I was just wanted to tell you some because there are times that sometimes I say when I preach to teach you more and then I forgot. We'll go deeper in this one. How do you know that you have a calling? So people of grace, familiar spirit is a type of monitoring spirit that carry out attack of destruction. They carry that a uh, 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 mission. Mm. They attach themselves to you through something or someone you are extremely familiar, comfortable with in real life. But you, me, mm, now nah, I won't do whatever without telling my aunt she loves me a lot. I cannot do without telling my uncle she loves me. I must confide and tell aunt that I'm marrying next week. 
Nevag paying Lobola or promotion is coming next week. You'll draw it in the floor. <laughs> Fabulous spirit will run so quick. You can get familiar spirit by having a boyfriend who is infested by the spirit of destruction. It can move from that boyfriend to another. That is why our God, he hates when we fornicate prior marriage. Yes, we did it. And then we saw that we did a mistake. Even now, when we, if we were not married and we are getting a second chance of marriage, we won't go via fornication. Because now we know more. We will be so awake to be so sensitive even when someone wants to approach you because you want to iron things with, with your God. Familiar spirits that are very clever. They know that people have a problem of intimacy and saying that I'm too young, I cannot stay without sleeping with so a person. That is why as soon as you do that, you'll see the person start to cheat, especially guys. Cheating, sleeping with a lot of women, caring, everything come and deposit in one life body in that deposit because a soul tie now is starting to develop because you have slept in you have intimately met now all spirits start the first one will be familiar spirit last will come all the spirit of destroying will follow because it's what killing, stealing, and destroy, destruction or destroying. They will all call each other, yeah, there's a party here. Yeah. We own the body. This body is our house. So that spirit of destruction is called what? Household servant. In your body, in your house. If Jomi is having familiar spirit, you are telling Jomi everything. You are doomed. Familiar spirit are condemned by Father God because they are our type of spirit that work with the divination spirit, sorcerers, witchcraft, and all those fortune tellers, tarot readings, the cards, all those stuff that operate in the triangle of heaven, that hijack the stars, under the stars, and the moon, the sun, the sun. So now this is familiar spirit's jobs. What do they do? They will, their goal is a, 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 one of their assignments. Is a, they can gather all the spiritual intelligence that they will open the doors to the bad news in your life or your future. Sometimes you'll wonder why some people are able to know what you, you are doing. And then a person will say, no, there's something that is telling me. No, familiar spirit is there. Familiar spirit is there. And before we finish with familiar spirit, because now you know who are they. Let's go to the book of First Samuel, verse 28, where we'll be speaking about Saul. Saul, a king of Israel, who Father God didn't like him. When the Israelite says, we want Saul to be our, far, our king, Father God was against it because he knew the work of Saul. And then before we go, I forgot this one. Again with the familiar spirit. I forgot the one important thing. 
If you don't get it from the people who show me whatever, this is important. One of the people in your family consult Sangomas, which craft enter through that. They consult with Sangomas. Sangomas says, go and get the graveyard sand of your father. Put it in the bottle in your room. Your father will come every night so that he can release what you don't have finances and the stuff. By doing that, a demon now, remember the Bible said it clear, when a person is dead, the body, me and you, our bodies, whether Christians or non-Christians, as long as our inside go to the Father, I don't talk about body parts, I'm speaking about that spirit of God. Or your soul. Sometimes I mix it up which one. You know which one I'm talking about. When it go to heaven. Mm, the spirit. It doesn't die then rot with the body. So it's either it goes to heaven or to, to hell. So it's written in the Bible that the body is now for Satan. It's for hell. So that's why it's easy for Satan to take the body and now put a face of your late father. And then you see smiling. <laughs> My father says, hey, that Sangoma is waking so nice. Since I went to that Sangoma, I'm telling you, he said my father will come within two days. My father is coming, he's even asking me what to do. By then, people say, those are my ancestors. I cannot live when my, my father, I cannot ignore when my father is speaking with me. Meaning an ugly, stinking demon. Ugly, stinking demon. A, a, that person is calling a demon the father or the brother or the sister who's late. We perish because of lack of knowledge. Then you start. The Sangoma after a month will tell you as long as you've seen your father it's the time to do your initiation, become a Sangoma because now you'll be paying me 5000 for reviving your father. You run and you ran and go and pay. You said people don't know I'll be rich. Dololo, you will write that riches in your floor. Right on the floor. Because you will never get that riches. Instead, it will bed to worse. The next thing when you sleep, the same demon that they say to your father will change the face and say, I am your husband that your father gave it. Then you believe, oh, I knew I got a husband, and then I'm coming to sleep with you to finish and finalize you permanently and finish you. You sleep with him. You are happy. Tomorrow will come. You are even married. They show you the kingdom. That is invalid because they manipulate your brain, your eyes. Yeah, the, the, the kingdom that you show me is full of riches. That's where people get lost. So if that person in your family pleases the witches and idols, imagine it's next, it's sleeping next to your room, it's your sister or your mother. And then that person, it's where you will, when you cook, you, you take turns. What is she doing when she cooks? Because family spirit is there. 
These things take it into consideration. There are the things that are blocking you not to work, not to get jobs, not to get finances, not to do it. But greater is he in you because you are blessed among those who are not because you know God. When the time is right, God will perfect it because God will protect you until you get the job. Because you love him. To those who don't know God. If you understand. Any one of the family. That's why yesterday I said. The Bible said in the book of Matthew. A witch is in your family. It's in your household. It's what Jesus said. It. He was talking. Speaking about what I'm saying now. My brother is practicing whatever, all his darkness. Then he go home, he come to my house, get touch, he touch me. Oh, he want to drop something. By then, familiar spirit is trying. Then your body will change. Then you say, when I walk in the house, I pass somewhere, my, my legs reacted out. Because of that one person that Jesus says, witchcraft is in your household. That's where Satan changed our families, put his wicked heart so that our families mustn't like us. Our families must be jealous of us. Our families mustn't trust us. It shall never work in your family in Jesus' mighty name. Familiar spirits. Then... They use uh, animals such as cats, dogs, toads, you know, toads of, of, of rocks and the stuff, even snails in the house, centipedes, millipedes. Yes, they, they think that it will assist them with their witchcraft, uh, magic, or whatever. They use a lot worms. That's why when I pray sometimes, I destroy the worms. And then you ask yourself, she's even saying, the worms must be burned. All those things. Witchcraft does that. Familiar spirit. They work hand in hand with witches and wizards. They don't mind to fire as far as they connect with the baby elephant, baby rhinos. They make all these strong men. As using animals, evil birds, you'll always dream of a bird. I want to tell you something quickly, children of God, you won't believe. Cherubim, as an angel, a, a bird that I gave him the name of the angel, Cherubim sometimes will fight attacks <laughs> as a bird, and I'll know it when I'm sleeping there. And those attacks, when they try him, he fight them badly. He will even change from small as he is, because say he, until to the edge, a biggest a cherubim. A cherubim is an eagle like. Then he will be destroying, even opening his wings to destroy all the demons. Why? Because I anoint him, I pray for him. When he sit on my lap, I pray for him and I anoint him. And I declare, start now, people of grace. If you have a pet, anoint the pet, pray for the pet and say, Father, remember God used anything. God used anything. He used mud and saliva to heal someone who is blind. He used handkerchief as a mantle. The shadow of Peter. He used everything that sold as a medium. So you are bad, you are bad whether it's a bad, even a dog. Whites love dogs as pets. In the other house, we have a dog. My husband used a, was used to have another dog as Jack. Jack was pure white, pure white like a snow. Even when he go to the saloon to be washed, he will be pure white like a wool. Uh, Jack was anointed. Jack every night. Sometimes their eyes will start to change and to become fire. Then we will know that Jack now is fighting darkness. 
So because he was anointed and be prayed for. So Kerobim, when I pray, my sister was laughing last time. He will follow me when I move in the house. He's going with me. Kerobim, as I'm busy preaching every day when you hear me preach, he's sitting on my right leg. Sometimes he will sit on the left leg. He won't move. When I say amen, he knows. When I close the Bible, Kerobim will jump out of my leg. That's why when he answered now, when, because I'm calling his name. When I said Kerobim, he will answer. He knows his name. I cannot say Kerobim, and then he kept quiet. He knows it's his name. So, anoint all your pets. Declare them as warriors so that they can fight and help you. Then God will change the same pet and make it your angel of war. Yes, familiar spirit can be evil chicken cock. Kerobim, sorry, as familiar spirit can be an evil goat that is fighting you. Others will dream wicked dogs raping them. Familiar spirits, those are the one. Know that when they rape you, violate you, they are distracting everything about you. That's why that demon, when you see a man and as incubus, a spiritual husband and spiritual wife, it will, once you see them or coming or trying to sleep with you, it's coming to block. Always, their duty is to distract. May God bless you because I know that you are protected by the hand of God because greater is he who is in you than the one in the world. The one that is controlling familiar spirit. The book of Revelation 12, 11, we shall continue to overcome by the blood, the blood of the Lamb of God. Me and you as Christians, we are blessed. We are highly blessed and highly favored. Because when we sleep, they will come and attempt to sleep with us, but we'll have power to say no, to distract them. And when we are tired, Father God will release distraction to block that animal or demon to do wicked in your body. You are blessed. That is familiar spirit. When we check on the book of 1 Samuel 28, verse uh, 12, verse to 12, it reads this, So Saul, Saul was a king of Israel. Saul wanted to kill David. David was a threat to him since he won the battle by killing the giant Goliath. Saul didn't like it. Though, because he saw it was stupid in his brain, I'm so sorry. Because you cannot want to kill someone. You hunt him every day like a chicken. And to the extent that David went to different places because Saul wanted to kill him, by protecting Israel, the giant, there was no one who will match a giant from Israelite. The giant was busy cursing the Israelites, telling them that send someone. If you don't send, we'll destroy you and after I kill you, you'll be our slaves. But David, knowing that I killed lions and bears with my bare hand, God was in, in me. Let me go and fight a, a Goliath. But after that, Saul didn't like it, but he's, he's a king. David is not even a king, but he wiles after David. Now, why I'm telling you so that you can understand what makes Saul to go and want and revive a familiar spirit. I have just said it. Familiar spirit is revived by when they go to the graveyard and go to someone who passed on because a Sangoma sent you there, go and speak with so and so. They want you to revive a demon and give you muti. You go there, do one, two, three, four, and indirectly is reviving the spirit of darkness. So if the person was not prayerful or a man of God, only the demon that will come. But to all, Holy Ghost fire, to all those who are prayerful, they cannot 
they cannot they cannot and in this instant of Saul hear this this is very interesting first Samuel 28 verse 8 to 12 it reads this. So Saul disguised himself, putting on other clothes. He removed the king's one and put other clothes. And at night, he and the two men went to the woman. That woman. They cons he consulted, he said, sorry, uh, he went to that woman. And then Saul said, consult a spirit for me. But Saul was... He, 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 I don't know whether I was pretending to be a Christian or um, a, a king that followed God. I don't know what he was doing. Consult a spirit for me. He went there, remember, due to frustration because he wanted to get a way to kill David. And he wanted a way to ask a, 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 what is this? A, he wanted to revive the spirit of uh, I'll tell you now. Let's read. I'll tell you now. A uh, 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 soul disguised himself. Okay. Uh, consult a spirit for me, he said. And bring up for me the one I name. Mm. But the woman said to him, to Saul, Surely you know what Saul has done. Meaning you, you Saul, you know what you have, you have done. You have done. You have done. He has cut off the mediums. When Saul was excited after being appointed or, or installed as a king of Israel, he cut off the mediums, the spirits from the land. Those wicked spirits we are speaking about now. We are talking about now. Why have you set a trap for my life? To bring about my death. Because Saul says whoever will practice both witchcraft, both sorcerers, deviation spirit and all, he will kill them. So the, the woman is asking, why you want me to do these things? Because you said that you don't want it in this in Israel and if you, anyone is found doing that, you will, you will kill me. So you want to kill me. Then Saul now he saw by the Lord. How can you swear by the Lord? You saw by the uh, 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 to hear by the Lord, but you are in a witch, a sorcerer. You want to know about your lives and the stuff, but you saw with the Lord. I uh, as surely as as surely as the Lord lives, that is all. You will not be punished for this. Then the woman asked, "Whom shall I bring up for you?" This is familiar spirit, because he saw wanted that woman. To bring up the spirit of someone to speak. <laughs> then the woman asked, whom shall I bring up? Bring up Samuel. Yes, I wanted the name. Samuel. Because Samuel is the one who installed, uh, appointed Saul as a king. Whereas God didn't like, but it was a pressure coming from the Israelites saying, We want a king, we want a king. While they were there in Gilgal. So he said, Now bring the spirit of Saul. And Saul was a true man of God, like this, very dedicated to God, following the commands and laws of Moses and everything. Then the woman said, When the woman saw Samuel, she cried because now the spirit of Samuel came. It came out at the top of a voice. How? Because we, that's why I say it's impossible with the people of, of God because we want, we are not demons. We are full of Holy Spirit. So let's take it's me now. Then you said, Mama Ruth, bring up the spirit of David. Then I'll change the voice that says, I am David. Why do you want from me? That's why the woman was crying. The voice came out and said to Saul, why have you deceived me? You are Saul. The king said to her, don't be afraid. What do you see? The woman said, I see a ghostly figure now coming up out of the earth 
What does he look like? He asked. An old man wearing a robe. A robe is coming up, she said. You know, a robe is this white gown. Then Saul knew it was Samuel, and he bowed down and prostrated, prostrated, um, ever in it to, 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 to kneel down like you kneel without showing respect down, down, even in, uh, the stomach on the ground, prostrated to show respect. Yes. And lying with his face on the ground, he prostrated. Samuel said to Saul, Why have you this? Now it's who? Samuel. Why do you have disturbed me by bringing me up? And then he said, Saul, I'm in a great distress. Saul said, The Philistines are fighting against me, and God has departed me, departed from me. He's no longer answering. He, 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 he no longer answers me, uh, either by prophets or dream so i have called on you to tell to tell me what to do it ends there you read first samuel 28 from verse 8 to verse uh, 8 to verse 15. first samuel 28 so that is familiar spirit. He saw as a king who, when he finished, he go and even swear using uh, the, 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 the name of the Lord, uh, I, I promise I will never kill you. That is happening even today to false prophets. They go and consult with the mediums. That is why God, I pray that he must give you wisdom. Then you go to those churches where they practice all the familiar spirits are full there. You don't know. When a person don't know who, that's why I said, blessed are you who knows God, who are the Holy Spirit is speaking inside you. You might fail to discern, but it's telling you, don't do this, don't do this. Because those churches, and those prophets who go there unknowingly, not knowing that they are using familiar spirit, divination spirits, and all those things. You go there, it's attached to you. You ask yourself, I join that church every day when I sleep. I just dream of demons and snakes and what and what. May God open your eyes to see invisible. Our topic and today, the wisdom that I was sharing to you about familiar spirits. When I tell people sometimes that I don't want to be touched, they think that maybe Kiaswenk, that I'm proud. I have a pride. No. Then I'll explain more and I don't explain about my the gift of God. I just said, you remember Jesus said, someone touched me. I can feel my power leaving me. Then they say, how? A person said, no, I'm not a Christian. I said, but you wanted to shake me. So read the word. Go and read. And then I'll quote that Bible verse so that the person can go and read. Why I'm diverting? Because other spirits, they enter when they see you, prophet of God, anointed children of God. They know you got anointing. Then those spirits will enter a certain person and say, okay. Again, the person when he sees you, yo, I didn't see for long, I just love you. Those people like to touch people a lot. Those people like to go and hug people, are like uncontrollable. They are not themselves. Pray for them. Some other spirit is operating. That is the spirit of stealing, special shaking. Hence, they steal. When they shake their curse, those, when you see someone doing that, Remember always, she is carrying familiar spirits. She is trying to win souls. And the minute she shake you, don't be afraid. While she shake you, just say, come in my hands. Be filled with the blood. I shake you. If you want to taste, <laughs> you'll hear the person who run away. 
will say, you know, now you're calling the blood. You think that I'm so and so. You say, no, that's how I shake people. <laughs> God bless you. It was enough for the day. Don't mind the way it's so long. I wanted you to get that knowledge. What we'll do, biki biki always, small, small. When I preach, I'll uh, put two or three of the wisdom on this about uh, concerning this uh, spirit so that you must be always awake not to be lukewarm may god bless you do not forget tomorrow it's one day fasting six to six children of grace don't get tired tired i pray please don't get tired i pray it's only once a week when you count is three days in a month these three days we're doing every month end now we, die, we didn't divert god instructed once a week and then the last week next week it will be the one of half day you know of 12 dry fasting from 6 to 12. so people of grace please let's con continue to follow instruction of god and be strong to the lord because there's a reason if this is the reason of receiving our breakthroughs we possess them in jesus mighty name tomorrow you will be reading the bible verse i was given the book of isaiah 10 by father god when i ask where must you read the book write it down the book of isaiah 10 for tomorrow you will read Isaiah 10 from verse 1 until verse 4. You will prove text. Isaiah 10 verse 1 to verse 4. From verse 4, you will prove text. You will go from verse 20 until twenty-five. You'll read Isaiah ten verse one to four. You proof proof text meaning you skip from you'll read the Isaiah ten verse one to four. Then you skip you go to verse 20 to 25. You'll end that verse 25. That's what I was given. Then, people of grace, tomorrow you, you don't renounce. You'll wait. We'll do it when we pray because tomorrow I'm directed by the Holy Spirit. We will do a powerful prayer that will include the deliverance, but it will be from your head to the sole of the feet. We will be destroying every darkness. We will be destroying in the name of Jesus. May God bless you. Do not forget Isaiah, while you wait for me to upload, Isaiah. I, and I did, I just did a mistake now. People of God, I said you don't renounce. Yes, you don't renounce. You'll be asking for confessing your sins. After you eat, confess your sins. You know how we do it. Confess your sins, knownly and unknownly. Then you come to the book of Isaiah 10. You read Isaiah 10 from verse 1 to 4. From there you skip. You go to verse 20 to 24. God bless you while you are reading Sinuses. So, people of grace, let's pray and close the work of today. Just put your hand on the chest while we are praying. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Ghost, touch your children by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. That, Father, you are protecting your children from familiar spirit. Thank you, Father, 
For Father, you are destroying the powers of the familiar spirit that want to distract them. Thank you, Father, Holy Ghost. For Father, you are filling them with your blood to protect them. That when this spirit of destruction enter them, it must be powerless. Thank you, Father, for putting shape to this spirit of destruction. We know that you have put shame to them because no weapon fashioned against your children here shall prosper, emanating that weapon from the spirit of familiar. Father, we thank you now as we speak that, Holy Father, you are sending the power, authority to the children, your children, in order to overcome the spirit of familiar. Thank you, Father, because Holy Ghost, we know that, Father, you have, Father, dressed them up with the armor that no familiar spirit will open an avenue in their lives. And thank you, Holy One. We acknowledge that you are breaking those chains that are attempting and the blockages and all darkness that are emanating from familiar spirit to put all the heaviness, the challenges in their lives and all those questions that are asking. Father, thank you because you pull them to yearn in their heart to read the word in order to overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit, because they will overcome. You are God. You are God and God alone. You are the living Father. My Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit, because we know that, Father. You know them by their names. You know the number of their hair. You know what they eat where they sleep. Because you'll continue to put distraction that no familiar spirit coming from a friend, an enemy, coming, operating in the north, west, and south, that will come near them. We thank you that the plan of the familiar spirit as an agent of Satan will never come and destroy their children. Thank you, Lord. We thank and we believe that the hand of Father God is upon them and the finger to fight this spirit because they are principalities. Thank you, Father, for making them to believe that you alone, you alone, my King, you are the one that will make them triumph during these challenges, during this spirit of destruction. And we know and they believe, Holy Father, that it will be perfected every challenge in their lives through the blood of the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, cover them with the blood. Protect them more further. Warn them, Lord, continuously in the heart. And teach them to descend. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost. That destroy all the spirits that operate on the earth. Destroying them. Breaking their wings. And all the monitoring spirits that are assigned by familiar spirit to collect every information. Thank you, Father, because you are roasting them not to take part in your children's life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are blessed. They are protected. They are loved by God. They don't doubt you, Lord. Son of David, let it rain from heaven. Whatever you release, let it rain in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them feel your power. That heat, Lord. The heat of the light of God. The heat and the coldness of the Holy Spirit. Father, fill them to overcome darkness and all the spirits. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, people of grace. You are welcome. You are protected. Be blessed as we'll be doing our fasting tomorrow. Prepare.
and tell your father what you want so that your father can be with you. Start to speak with your father so that he can hear you. And while I preach every day, I must put wisdom so that you must know how when you want him to speak with you, what to do. Every day I must teach and put wisdom so that you must know more about the kingdom of heaven. May God bless you. May he protect you. May he go with you and bless you going out and coming in in Jesus' mighty name. The light of God to follow you, to put darkness into shame. Amen and amen. Be blessed. Shalom.